Hello everyone, welcome back everyone to the NASCAR Thunder 04 Career Mode. Last episode we went to Talladega, we took a gamble and it just didn't work for us. So we're going off to Kansas and also, and it's also today, it's also Vlogwins Day 15. It is Day 15 of Vlogwins. So again, we're again if you are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to try to get to 100 plus subscribers before Christmas Day. I would really appreciate if y'all would really go down there and hit that subscribe button for me. And again, if you're, excuse me, again, if you're also new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications, which is that bell. Tap it to all. And then also leave a like on this video so then you'll be notified when I upload a video. And again, also drop a like. So we're going off to Kansas. We look at the points. Mark Martin's the points leader. Went 120 points on Tony Stewart. And then we got Dale Jarrett, Jeff Warren, blah, blah, blah. Jimmy's in the top 10. Good for him. And we're in 41st place right now. Again, we suck garbage. Also, right now, we have $2,000 in the bank, which is not good for us. So now, I guess, now we got to go into the race weekend. And I don't know what to expect. So, again, I decided to overhaul a bunch of this stuff off camera. So we are taking this, we are taking this, and we are taking I guess we're taking this. Alright, we'll go off to Kansas. Let's hop on to it. Hello and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the running of the Banquet 400. What a great facility this is, Barney. What do you think of this track? Well, the track is pretty similar to Chicagoland. They were both built at the same time and added to the schedule in the same year. Not really any history built up here yet, but I'm sure there will be soon. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is currently in the top 10 in points. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. Rusty Wallace is one of those drivers who always seems to be running up front. He's had an incredible run of success in winning races and finishing in the top 10 in points. Add to that a solid qualifying program, and it's no big surprise that Rusty is one of NASCAR's winningest drivers. The 82 car has not had much of a gear so far on these speedway tracks. Well, his crew chief assured me this morning that they've got a fast car. Let's keep an eye on him and see how it goes. so good again now guys if I do sound rough in a bunch of the coming videos of why I sound rough uh, it's because guys I'm dealing with a nasty sinus infection and again guys if I get cranky a lot in this video it's nothing you guys didn't do anything wrong I'm just <coughs> excuse me I'm just dealing with a nasty sinus infection so All right, now we're doing good. We're in 22nd right now, so. Whoa, let's try to make some friends with Terry Levine. Fine. I don't know, just the car for some reason feels not bad, but I don't know, it just feels a little bit, I don't know, funny. The car is a piece of junk, crew chief. Ricky Rudd, 
I can tell you, Ricky Rudd is the broad driver in the NASCAR Thunder 2004 game. Would you hush up, oh, worry? Hey, Jimmy. At least Jimmy's got some respect, while Ricky Rudd has to be a stupid idiot in this darn game. Again, like I say, guys, when I feel sick or I get sinus infections or feel like crap or whatever, I get so cranky. At least Jimmy show me, shows me with respect, and everybody else drives like a bunch of crap holes. Oh, Jimmy's at a 38 rival. Jimmy, no, we can't have that. What the? What is wrong with you, car? I hit the apron and it bounces up like that. <coughs> oh, a cookie. Fine, Ricky Rudd, go around me. Uh, what the crap are you on now? You're a 60 rival, are you kidding me? Well, we're in 25th right now. How about I would love to see a caution come out? Maybe this car might feel better if I make an adjustment to this car. I don't know, because this car feels tight. I usually like my race cars tight, but this one? Nope, not this one. Whoa! Oh, gee, thanks so much, Jeff Green. Ah, oh, this car sucks so bad. Oh, I hate this car. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, great. Now we got Jeff Green that looks like he wants to go over and just, I don't know, wants to do that something to me. I don't want to talk about it. All right, Jeff Green, you want, you got, hey, you want some? You don't want to mess with a Justin Garden that is sick. But you, hush up, crew chief. Well, at least Kenny Wallace didn't hit me. At least, at least that's some kind of respect there with that one. Well, Jeff Green has to be an idiot right there about it. It's like, would you not? Well, at least we're in 26th place right now, but this car will not turn. Would you hush the crap up, Gucci? Thank you. I remember, there was some YouTuber that played this game and... Oh! Joe Demichek! That was your fault, Joe. That was actually your fault. That was your fault. I swear, what is wrong with these drivers in this game? It's like, what the crap is wrong with this? I swear Jeff Green wants wrapped. Easy now. Gonna need some of that grip later. Oh, Crew Chief, how about you do a fade and just be quiet before I start losing my britches? Jeff Green. Ah, wrong person. Alright, Jeff Green, I have had enough of you. I swear. I crap. Darn, I'm wanting him to get into the field. <sighs> Jeff Green has ticked me off. Save the car. Get off the wall! Ah, dang it. Get off the wall! I don't think I'm no fit to race tonight. No fit to do it. Oh, my goodness. I hate sinus effect, James. Jeff Green has done pre run by Bridges. Ah. <sighs> Well, at least the caution comes out, I can probably make repairs to this car, and... Yep, Jeff Green, I have had enough of you. Yep, 
Yes, please. I would like to pit, and I would like for everybody else to stay out. Please. Oh, they're all gonna pit. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I just cannot catch a darn break in this darn game. Unreal. You're kidding. Everybody's kidding. Well, crap. Uh, hopefully this right here will fix this car. Oh, thanks. We get hold up some more. Oh, thank you. We get hold up some more. Well, pit crew. All right, let's see your Christmas fire suits. I could take a nap while the picker does this. If the picker screws up, they would be fired. At least picker did its job. All right, really, get past like that. Oh, great! A couple cars did not pit. That sounds scary. All right, we're in 31st place. Do I really want to get passed by two slow cars? Nope, I don't. I just want to go straight up to the front. And hope maybe this right here will make the car. Would you not, Jeff Byrne? Really? You're gonna you're gonna go on the Jeff Green Christmas list by getting wrecked. This car. Really, car, don't do this to me. Would you not? No, everything's not okay because Warburn got into me for no darn reason. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right, how about if another caution just comes out? Don't tell me good job because that is not a really good one there. I'm trying everything I can, crew chief, so just hush. Alright, yeah, I crapped up that corner. Oh, we got a caution. Oh, yeah, we got debris. You know what that means for me? Course. Jeff Green! Alright, I think Jeff Green needs Rex some more. He's on the Christmas card list now. Jeff Green. Of course. Alright, the question is, is this going to be the same game again? Is everybody going to pit again? I think everybody's going to stay out. We're going to find out right now. Yep, everybody is staying out. You know what that means for me? I'm coming to pit road. Get off sequence here. Oh, Joan even checks out of the race. So that's one last driver now we have to deal with. So, wish that was Jeff Green out of the race on top with him. And then probably a bunch of the rest of these rivals. I wish they were like out of the race. So now we, we pitted on lap 20. We go green on lap on lap 22 so now the only thing we're going to have to do is, is we're going to have to wait and cross our fingers cars pit pin them a lap down and we get a caution that's going to be our only hope i am trying crew chief and this car still sucks this car sucks so bad i know everybody will have to make another pit stop so that right there, we just need a long green flag run. Hoping right here, we get a long green flag run. And Number four is outside. The four car wants to get by you. Number four is inside. I hate this 
car! Ugh. I hate this car. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this car so much. I hate it. It's been a little while right now. I'm trying to pass for 31st place. There I am. Right now, the leaders and them still have not pitted yet. So right now, left. Ah, I'm in the left. I've been telling this crew chief to hush, or I was going to turn him off. Ah, I'm not. When is everybody going to pit? When are all of you are going to pit? I got 6.7 left in the tank. This car is starting to get loose on me, but I had no other choice there. I had to make it like this, or I was going to be so tight that I was not going to be. And all of our tires are wearing, so. I hope, my hope right now, the leaders and them come to pit road before like the next two or three laps or so, the leaders pit, pin them a lap down, and hopefully we get a caution. Oh, there we go. Now we got leaders pitting. Now we got cars pitting now. Now we just need a lot of more cars to pit. Sorry, Brett Bonine. Oh, man, this car. That's right, leader. Pin them a lap down. That's right, leaders. Let's go. I need some kind of luck tonight. I got four point. Got four point nine left in the tank, so that's good. A lot of. Well, now we got some more pitting, so at least it's good. We got a bunch more pitting. There we go, now we got a bunch more pitting now. Let's go. The are I got 3.5 left in the tank, so I could probably go the next two or three laps. We just need a bunch of cars to go alone. I said it'd be funny right now. If it was just me and the leader fighting for a win, that would have been it. Imagine how nice that would be. Well, Kyle Petty, would you pit? That would be probably be nice if Kyle Petty would just pit. You're almost dry. Come in for some gas. Got one down left. Save you car. Save, save, save. Yeah, because Kyle Pay is a rival behind me. Be careful. Okay, we lost the spot. Thank you, now you're finally going to pit. Couple top five cars are on the way in the pits. Number two is outside. The O2 car is still there. Would you not? Alright, he's about all right, he's about ready to be the caution. That O2 is about ready to be a caution. I didn't care anymore. I really did not care. Now the question is how many cars are a lap down right now? Uh, it looks like still a bunch on the lead lap. Ah, oh, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Everyone is back on the lead lap. There's only 32 cars on the lead lap. You have got to be kidding me. Well, that went down the drain. Car 
Well, well, that sucks. That sucks. I was hoping maybe that would have worked. Well, it almost worked. If the caution would have just came out sooner. Ugh. Well, at least it was under cost. If it was under green flag pit stops, I've been living the crap out of. Great, we're all the way back in 31st place. That means there's only 32 cars on the lead lap. Now, fun part. Now we're going to have to try to pass these cars again. Mark, what are you doing back here? That's weird. Usually you're usually up in the front, and you're the points leader. I don't know. Look at that pile of cars there. That is a mess. The only thing I like to do is just, I just want to finish in the top 20. my fault. This car sucks. It was better than that. It was this stupid car. The car sucks. This car sucks. Oh, great. Not again. Get to pit road. Just get fuel in the car. Just get fuel in the car. None. No. Just put enough fuel in there. Just put enough fuel in it so we don't go a lap down. All right. The crew jumps over the wall and they're going to make a wedge adjustment on this machine. And we'll come back to Pair and we'll get tires on it. We'll come back. Brad Bonan, too. Him and Jeff Green. I don't know. No, it's like the crap is wrong with both of them. Yeah, I hit the apron there and yeah, so. Yeah, he hit me there. It caused my stupid fuel to almost go out. Went out there. Alright, now we see what happens now. Is everybody going to pit or are they going to stay out? Yeah, I think everybody is going to stay out here. Alright, I'm coming back down pit road. More darn mistakes. Really, pit crew? Why do you have to do this crap? Really? Pit crew? Really? That's your second mistake. You're on the... You're better than that. Now you're on Santa's naughty list. You're just getting a pile of coal of coal. <sighs> Unreal. Alright, here we go. Brad Bonin, you are at pain. You and Jeff Green are right... Oh, of course, you got to you be right beside how far from each other, really. It's like, we don't take off on the start, but then when they slow down like that, we get going. I got fresh tires. We're good on fuel for the rest of the race. So now, the only thing I can do is, I just want to try to finish a good, solid finish. Oh, uh, great. Two rivals right in front of me. How am I going to get around them? It's like, all right, how am I going to get around these two? The crap is wrong with this car! The yellow is out for a crop amount of I think 
I need to tight this car up. I hate to do it. I hate to tight this car up, but I'm going to have no other choice. I'm coming back down Parrot. I'm going to tight this car up, and I'm going to forget it. All right, now the question is, is the crew going to make a mistake again? They have already done made two mistakes, I'll worry. I hate to type the car up, but I, you guys just saw what happened there a second ago. I, I can't deal with this crap anymore. Unbelievable. Uh, well, I don't have a pile of cars behind me. Oh, I think when it gets closer like this, they just get ready. I hate the car to be tight, but... Alright, seven... Uh, now I gotta have to deal with this. Can the race just end, please? How about the race just ends right now and then we can be done? I think that would be nice. Get out of here, Biffle. You're a lap down. If you're a lap down, get out of the way. I hate to type this car up, but I didn't need to. I just want to get it. I want to try to get a solid finish the best way I can. That means fun part. Trying to get around my rivals. That's going to be the tricky part. Ugh. Boy, me. I just need to try to get around the stupid rivals. Two rivals right in front of me trying to get around them is going to be a pain in the butt. I could just finish right here, but I don't want to finish right here. I want to get, I want to like to try to get a top 25 finish if I can. I want to try to at least try to complete some of my sponsor objectives at least. We could have probably had a top 10 finish. I got five laps to go. Ah, sure he is. Oh, great. How about three or four rivals right in front of me? That makes it worse crap. Sure he is. I say go. I give up. I seriously give up. How about this would be funny? The leader takes the white flag, and there's just a big, large pile up. None but just cars wrecking everywhere. The leaders wreck, and from first all the way through like 30th, all just wreck. And that made, yeah, I definitely made this car tight. Now it's back to the drawing board like what it was before. Hey, looks like we're going to finish in 31st place. Bomber can bunk him. Car's still driving okay? Oh, shit, crew chief. You are getting on my nerves. White flag, next time by. I know, it's ridiculous. Well, we're going to finish in 31st place. I don't care anymore. I do not care anymore. Save your tires. Number 27, stand low. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Hey, leaders, get wrecked! Oh, that was Dale Jr. 29 car, just broke you. Hold him if you can. He gonna have an in for you. Right side. Be careful. 
lots of caution laps were run in this race. Well, it was definitely a busy day for the Pontiac pace car driver. I really don't know why we had so many, just one of those races, I guess. The 82 car suffered some damage in this one and ultimately paid the price for it. You know, some of these teams have multiple cars and a race like this won't set them back too far. It's the guys who have only one or two cars that suffer the most. But hey, it'll make you learn to take care of your car in a hurry. The 82 car probably won't be hanging out after the race with the 25 car. Should be interesting next time they get next to each other on the racetrack. At this point, nobody wants to back down and we could see some sparks fly. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. We'll see you next week at Lowe's. Oh, great. Now we go to Charlotte next. This gets bad. All right, so once again, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Again, guys, I do apologize, guys. Like I said, guys, I'm dealing with a nasty sinus infection. I am tired. Before we go, we'll look at the points real quick. Mark Martin is still your points leader. Man, Mark Martin had 120 points. Now he's dropped his points. Tony Sturt's trying to catch back up. Come on, Mark. You should win the championship. Jimmy's still tempting the points. And we try to find us. And we're still 41st in the points. What else is new with that one down with that one? So once again, hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday for day 15 team of Longman. Stay safe out there and I'll see you all tomorrow for day 16 of Longman's. Take care everybody.